Hi, do you know the number of valence electrons in each of the following atoms? No? No worries, join my class. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to describe the valence electrons, the main group elements and also we are going to state the octet rule with its exceptions. Don't forget to answer the questions at the end of the video, put your answers in the comments section below and thank you. Valence electrons are defined as the electrons in the outermost energy shell. Let's have sodium as an example. I will write the electronic configuration for sodium. By the way, I will keep a link in the description below for a video showing you how to write the electronic configuration. From the electronic configuration of sodium, we can see that it has two electrons in the first energy shell, eight electrons in the second energy shell, and only one electron in the third electronic shell. So we can say that sodium has one valence electron since it has only one electron in its outer electronic shell. Let's have another example about sulfur with 16 electrons. The electronic configuration for sulfur as you can see 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. And if you want to count the number of electrons in its first shell we have only two electrons. In the second we have eight and in the third shell we have six electrons. So we can say that sulfur has six valence electrons since it has six electrons in its outer energy shell. Now let's talk about the second objective, which is the main group elements, or as we call them in some books, representative elements. The main group elements are the S and the P block elements, which are groups one and two, and groups 13 to 18. These groups, we call them the main groups elements since their groups they share the same number of valence electrons as i'm going to show you in a while if we look at the electronic configuration for the following elements as you can see all of them they end with p5 it means that all of them they belong to the same group which is a group 17. if we count the number of electrons in their outer shell we can see that all of them they have seven valence electrons in their outer shell so as I told you, elements of the same group, they share the same number of valence electrons. So if I want to locate these elements in group 17, this is group 17 and this is row 1. As you can see, fluorine, it is in row 2, chlorine in row 3, bromine in row 4, and iodine in row 5. So I place them all under each other like this in case you find it difficult to place elements in the periodic table i will keep a link in the description below showing you how to place elements according to their electronic configuration in the periodic table if we look at the elements of the first column as you can see all of them their electronic configuration ends with s1 which means that all of them they have one valence electron in their outer shell and also if you look at group 13 all their elements their electronic configuration ends with s2 p1 which means that all of them they have three valence electrons and their outer shell so to summarize what we have learned according to the valence electrons in the following groups group one they have one valence electron 2, they have 2, 13, 3, 14, 4, 15, 5, 16, 6, 17, 7, 18, they have 8 valence electrons. We have few exceptions like helium and hydrogen. We're going to explain them later when we talk about the octet rule. Octet rule states that atoms tend to have 8 or 0 valence electrons, which means that for atoms to be stable, they try to have either 8 electrons in their outer shell or 0 
electrons in their outer electronic shell. Let's have some examples. Fluorine has nine electrons. If we write the electronic configuration for fluorine, we're going to see that it has two electrons in the first shell and seven in the second one. So for fluorine to apply the octet rule, it needs to gain one more electron. Then it will have eight valence electrons. Let's have another example about sodium. Sodium, it has 11 electrons. If we distribute them, they're going to be like this, two, eight, one. Now to apply octet rule, it needs to lose that electron. So by losing that electron, it will have zero or eight valence shell electrons. So as we could see, sodium to apply the octet rule, it lost one electron, while fluorine to apply the octet rule, it gained one electron. Why some elements gain, why some elements lose? Let's look at the following scenario. Now I want you to imagine with me this building with eight floors and two exits, one of them at the ground floor, one of them at the roof, and the fire alarm was triggered and you wanna leave the building as fast as possible. According to the floor that you are in, you are going to choose the suitable exit. And let me explain how. If you are in the first floor, for sure you're going to use the ground exit to evacuate the building because it takes more time for you if you wanna leave from the upper one. Also in the second floor, it's better for you to use the ground exit. In the third floor, also it's better for you to use the ground floor. But in case you are in the fifth floor, and since you can't run on the stairs, it's easier for you to choose the upper one, since you need less energy to move three floors up than moving five floors down. And also the same scenario with floors six and seven, you are going to gain height better than going downward because it takes more energy. If you are in the eighth floor, then there is no need for you to move since you are at the exit. For a better understanding, look at this atom of nitrogen with seven electrons. It has five valence electrons. To apply the octet rule, it needs to gain three more electrons or it needs to lose five valence electrons. Now think about it. Which do you think it's easier to gain three electrons or to lose five electrons? For sure, it is much easier to gain three than losing five electrons. So usually nitrogen gain three electrons. Now let's talk about some exceptions for octet rule. As you know, not all elements, they have eight valence electrons. Let's see this example. Lithium, it has only three electrons and one valence shell electron. If it loses that electron, then it will have two in the outer shell, not eight. And then it's going to be stable by having only two. And this is called the wit rule and can be done by other elements like hydrogen and helium. So elements like hydrogen, lithium and helium can be stable by having only two electrons in their outer shell and this is called the wit rule. Now it's your turn to answer. Pause the video, copy the questions, answer them, put your answer in the comments section below. Thank you.